and this film is going to be titled My Life with the Samsung Ecosystem. And it's basically me making the switch from my Apple ecosystem all to Samsung. You guys all know I'm a big Apple guy. I have my Mac, my iPad, my Apple Watch, and my iPhone. Um, I love the ecosystem and everything it entails with it. But recently, this past year, Samsung came out with a new device called the S8. So, um, small plug, I do work for T-Mobile. You can see, like, right there. I work right there. Um, so, I handle these phones all the time. So, I wanted to see what is it like to be a Samsung person. And this is kind of my experience. So I went with the Samsung S8 Plus, and the reason for that is I like its giant size and stature. It's pretty nice, pretty big. Uh, and I went from having this phone, or my iPhone 7 Plus, to the S8 Plus, and here are a couple reasons why. So I chose the Samsung S8 Plus for the main reason of I like the bigger phones and the bigger feel of it. I felt the bigger screen of the 6.2 uh, AMOLED curved display was much needed fit. So the battery life on my iPhone 7 Plus and my Samsung S8 Plus are near not too different, but the functionality on how to charging these devices on a daily basis was pretty cool. So now we're into something that is my personal favorite, and that's wearables. So wearables is a form of a smartwatch. Actually, it's not a form of a smartwatch, it's a smartwatch. I told you in the beginning, for the past couple of days, I made the switch from my Apple ecosystem to a Samsung ecosystem, and that wouldn't be complete if I didn't do a full switch. So right here is the Samsung Gear S3 Frontier. Now yes, I had purchased this device um, just for a couple of tests, because I feel as a salesperson, you need to know your product or use your product in order to know your product in order to inform the consumer of the product. So what better way to do that than try out the watch for a couple of days. So my favorite thing about this device is the LTE band on it. LTE meaning about like the 3G speed if you're browsing, but the main thing is, is I can leave my phone at home and take my watch with me and my watch will act as my phone. So I can still make calls and still text my friends, my workplace, wherever, just from my wrist. Now the downside to this is that I don't have a Hey Siri function, which I hope I just didn't activate for anybody. Or I don't have the uh, really good mic on this guy. So the mic, when it, it when it speech detects, it's a bit uh, like how I'm speaking right now. It can't think properly on it. It'll misspell words. It'll s s misspell words. <laughs> or... Uh, fumble on it just like I am right now so let's go ahead and now talk about the Apple watch so I have the Apple watch series 2 let's go so the Apple watch series 2 is a bit different than my series 1 it has two core processors inside for a faster speed water resistance so if I go swimming showering or any other daily use on it I know it's completely gonna be okay and my favorite is the GPS tracking. So when I did my nightly runs with my fiance, or if I walk around or something and just do a quick workout, it tracks everything for me and lands on my iPhone and my health app. So granted, I did say I wanted to see the differences between the Samsung ecosystem and my iPhone ecosystem. And so far, the Samsung ecosystem is just well because everything can be connected wirelessly. And wirelessly meaning from LTE speeds where if I, my phone dies, I can use my watch as a cool spy and get some of my information still, call my friends, call my workplace, text people, and occasionally ask it what the weather is. With my Apple Watch, I can't do that. I need my phone on, I need my phone alive. Other than that, it becomes a really good, bright watch. and. Other than doing GPS tracking, holding some music if I wanted to play with Bluetooth, or even some Apple Pay functionality on it, even with my phone either gone or dead, it still doesn't 
bring the life into it. And I'm hoping with this September launch that Apple picks it up. So that's my review so far on the iPhone 7 Plus compared to the SA Plus and their ecosystems. So naturally, I'm going to choose my iPhone. I've been using the SA for the past week and the Gear S3 for the past like couple of days for it, but ultimately my iPhone and my Apple Watch are like my bread and butter. I've done, I've been with Apple for many years. I've made the switch because of the screen and the camera, but honestly, when it comes down to it, the ecosystem always wins. And since the majority of my, the ecosystem is in my household, it wins. All right, so that's been my film for the day. If you want to see something more like this, please leave a comment, or if you know me, text me and let me know. I really love uh, doing these kinds of things and then posting up to share because they're just really fun to make. Uh, let me know if there's something else I should try out and make a review or film or try that lifestyle out, and maybe I can go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, until next time, I will see you all on the interwebs. Later.